All right, time now for a look at your get ready a traffic alert. As you can see uh, right there, pretty misty out there, but it's a little bit thick too. Uh, we're seeing uh, some accidents already in the area. That road right there, clear right now, but the way it's yeah. going to be happening, and Robert's going to uh, fill you in more on this, the icy mix we're tracking tomorrow will first hit northwest Arkansas and, and then later in the River Valley. So we were looking at an accident, I believe it was off 412 earlier. This yeah, we had, one in, we had one in Springdale, and then we've got, a, a I guess, a really bad one up in uh, Newton County, Missouri right now on the northbound side of I-49. It's closed and it has been closed yeah, for some Neosho. time mm -hmm. near Neosho because of, I guess, some very slick conditions up there. And again, folks, it doesn't take a ton of ice to make things slick. I mean, a glaze and with how cold it is, a glaze can happen very, very fast when temperatures are in the lower 20s and you've got liquid that's falling from the sky. It's one of the reasons we've made tomorrow and Tuesday a severe day for several rounds of snow, sleet and freezing rain. The best icing chances will be in the River Valley and points east, especially as you work your way toward uh, the Capital District, uh, Little Rock, those areas. Dangerous travel power outages certainly possible. We're not talking about a crippling ice storm, but enough to really make things inconvenient. As I said earlier, winter weather advisory in northwest Arkansas through 6 a.m. tomorrow morning because of that freezing drizzle that we're experiencing right now and then tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. So all day Tuesday winter weather advisory for the River Valley. We'll see if additional advisories and warnings get issued, but that's just what we're seeing right now. Accumulating snow threat looks quite low, but we are looking for sleet and freezing rain over the next couple of days, which will make impacts to travel quite high. Temperatures right now really getting cold and it is breezy outside, so we've got wind chills that are in the single digits across northwest Arkansas, lower 20s to upper 20s on average, a little bit milder in the River Valley, but still chilly, still flirting with the freezing mark. Big slug of moisture off to our east. Right now we're in a relative break, but the upper levels of the atmosphere are what's causing uh, some of that freezing drizzle to happen. We'll get another slug of moisture to get in here uh, by tomorrow afternoon, which you'll see here on the hour by hour. There's some of that freezing drizzle that the models are saying uh, for northwest Arkansas and points north. Then tomorrow morning, I think we get a break, but by the afternoon hours, here comes the next big slug of moisture, most likely starting out very quickly as rain transitioning to freezing rain in the River Valley. A mix of sleet and snow across northwest Arkansas. Monday night into Tuesday, we get another brief respite before more uh, wintry mix rolls in here for the River Valley as well as northwest Arkansas before it gets out of here. And by the time we get to Wednesday, it might be warm enough for everything to just be plain rain. We'll see what happens uh, with that. But regardless, Far northwest Arkansas, Carroll County, Benton County, mostly snow and sleet tomorrow and Tuesday. Just south of there, better chance for sleet and freezing rain. And then you get I-40 in south, mostly freezing rain, which is what we're really concerned about. And especially off to the east here, they could have big time problems there. Even further south, you start to you just have plain rain. In terms of the freezing rain accumulation, the models are saying a couple hundredths in northwest Arkansas, but that's enough to make things slick and then more than that in the River Valley, and then you get south of that, then you're starting to worry about big time problems with the ice. Sleet accumulation uh, could add up as well, but again, you can get traction on sleet despite what those numbers say. And yeah, even a little bit of snow, uh, the further north that you get into southwest Missouri, 20s and 30s tonight, and we will go, we'll go almost nowhere tomorrow for our temperatures, which is why we're so concerned about the icing risk. Severe days tomorrow and Tuesday. Showers, just plain rain look possible Wednesday and Thursday, but that could change. That's what we're thinking right now. Nicer weather as we round out the work week. Uh, same thing in the River Valley. Plenty of freezing rain the next couple of days. Plain rain Wednesday and Thursday for now. You're going to want to keep checking back with us for updates and then not too bad as we head into next weekend. Stay with us. Meredith is back with us. She is going to get you up to speed on everything hogs related after these messages.